Hi everyone! We're back again to play our continued together <sighs> Game of Thrones! I'm gonna go to get to see Cersei! Just gonna go in and look at the same exact same point. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Okay. Good luck. Oh, we need it. We really need it. <laughs> okay. <gasps> no. No, 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 please don't. Don't, 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 don't. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. If you die, I kill you. If you die, I kill you. If you die, I kill you! Ooh, nice! <gasps> Who's there? There's... Someone. You can do this. Many that looks... Did you see that guy? Ah, Lady Sorry. Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. Snake. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. <sighs> yes, Your Grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. I take it this is the kind of loyalty the King can expect from you. If you have any loyalty at all. <sighs> Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, your grace. He is. And I the Queen Regent, and Tyrion the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. Thank you, dear. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? 
If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she Let would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. Who do you choose? I must choose Marjorie, Your Grace. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? <laughs> the most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. Yeah, we <laughs> My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Yeah! I hate her. Lightful sister you have, Tyrion. Uh-oh. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. Roops. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Forgive me for saying it, but the Boltons have no honor. Ruse Bolton has many unique, unique qualities. qualities. <laughs> Honor is not no. one of them. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, <laughs> she will not soon forget what you said. True. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I wasn't trying to please her. I think that was clear to everyone. Clear <laughs> My sister and I have our differences. Yeah. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting mm -hmm. them. <laughs> we must find our amusements where yeah, we can. that's true. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for yeah. you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. Yeah. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Mm. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. No, it's not. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Mm -hmm. And he knows far too well. Those who haven't seen the, say, the Game of Thrones series, I can just say he knows very well. But I believe many have seen it. If you haven't, watch it! I demand it! Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It yeah, went well. I think it went well. Really? Yeah. That's a relief. <laughs> Cersei is known for being rather... She difficult. is difficult. Yeah. 
Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows, we might meet our future husbands. <laughs> Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be Ouch. like. Uh, prison, maybe? Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Oh, have a sorry. <laughs> look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for his mother. I'd marry anyone if it helped my yeah. family. Your loyal family. Right. Of course. What is she? Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Uh oh. Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and. What are you doing? Well? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. Yeah. I believe the women are more powerful there. The Queen was rather disappointed by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. Oh, sorry. King's Landing can be exhausting <gasps> sometimes. So depressed you sometimes. It's so intense. Woo! To please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? You are kind. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. Mm -hmm. You learn very quickly. Yeah. <laughs> your words to Cersei were brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Yeah. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Ask for that. You must ask. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Yeah. It's about my family. I trust her. Yeah, she can stay. I trust her too. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but... My mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. <sighs> what would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do yeah. as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. <sighs> That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. Oh, 
I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Yeah, that's true, actually. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. It's a Garrett! It's a Garrett! Please tell me it's Garrett! Yes, it is! What the? <gasps> no, what the? What in the? Seven hours. God damn it! What's this? What the? Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a what coat? The fuck. <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father oh, likes oh to say, God. a naked man holds few secrets. Uh. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. That's not good. He does now. <sighs> How much further is it to these foresters? A day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Uh-oh. My lord? Shh! Listen! There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. Oh my god, that was so intense! Oh my god! Ah, sorry. Oh my god! Wonder who it was. Ugh. Those bolters and their methods. Ugh. Barbarics, all of them. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Shit. Ethan, oh, as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But three hundred generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Really? Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold. Who seized back the river valley from the White Ooh. Hills? What did they call my father? Gregory Good. Lord Gregory yes. the Good. I remember. Yes, that's good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. I want to be like that. Yeah. Like my father. He should be the good Lord. 
Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, yeah, to earn. That's true. It takes a long time to earn someone's trust. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Hmm. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Really? Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! What the? Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. What the? I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan. Mist. Who is this man? Yeah. This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us. What? I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. They're not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy, no. Lord Ethan. I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. Yeah. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. You'll address Sir him as Lord. Roland, enough! Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers, three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the war. Silence! Take his fingers! He's a thief. If you punish me. You'll be punishing an innocent man. You'll be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Send him to the wall. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Send Night's Watch. The oh, please, my lord! My family, without me, they'll die! <clears throat> How do we remember this judgment? That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Yeah. Not just yourself, of course. Maester, what do you think? Yeah. Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? The wall seems like a fitting place for a thief. I only hope he doesn't find Garrett there and take his anger out on the poor squire. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. <laughs> Me? Oh, God. <laughs> I can't, can't get involved. I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close yeah. to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Ooh, nice! Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. 
Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me oh. when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Okay, I will explain why I sent in the war. He's no use if we cut off few fingers. I don't think he will be any use to us. Stand to the more was the right decision to do, but maybe fate to rule the family. I'm sorry, but that's the law. Must do what the law must do. Let's speak with her. Can I speak with her? Oh, come on. Who's this? Malcolm. Look at him. Who's Malcolm? What you doing? Dr. Malcolm. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Oh, uncle. his uncle! I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. Yeah. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. Why, Uncle, why are you packing? Yeah. You're not going somewhere, are you? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? What? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold, of course. Until I've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. Yeah. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. Yeah. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Royland is the man you want. Why, Sir yeah, Royland? Why? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk uh -oh. to you. She's angry with me. She's angry. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? <laughs> I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. You promised me you wouldn't change, and I believed you. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. Yeah. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Yeah, true. Sir Royland is unpredictable yeah. and likely to make matters worse. Yeah, that's actually true. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Oh, so good advice. Well... Let's go to... Uh... Wait, was this Ryan here? Yeah, here he is. Talk to him. Come on, talk to him. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good sores have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this... So I remember. I mean, I could never forget, but, oh, you know, don't you? And what of your brother Asher? Where's yeah. his name? There's only two sides to the blade. Besides, he left, so... Oh. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Someday, I'll have a real one. I believe you. But not like that one. 
Only a lord could have that sword. You all have a good sword. I'm yeah. sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. <sighs> Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. No. No, he's not our enemy. But he did a bad yeah. thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People who do bad things need to be punished. Someone did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who <sighs> took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Walter Frey. Walter Frey, I... Say it, Walter Frey! Don't need to anger him more. Need to be smart. Come on, you dogs! You'll not be fighting here forever. Let's talk to the Maester. Or then Maester. What are you? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your Sentinel? Not yet. What is your perspective? What is it you're doing yeah. over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us yeah. be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life or the lives of those you love. Yeah. A sensible plan, Maester. It may come yeah. to that. I am glad to hear your mind is open to possibility. Yeah, I'm always open to possibility. Let's go talk to the Duncan and the uh, Roderick. No, not Roderick. What? Roll it! That's right. Our provisions are rather low, I my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. That's not good. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. No. Nope. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No. There must be something else we can do. Yeah. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. Yeah. I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can yeah. do more. That was good. My lord. Now, when I say parry, get that oh, sword out. Oh, God, let's talk to Roderick. No, Sir Roiland. Fast. Sword up. Swing left. Parry. Wrong! I didn't know Sir dogs could hold sword. Word. Of course, my lord. Yeah, that's good. Yeah! I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No. But they will be. That's good. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet. Up where they won't get much scrutiny. And put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Oh, not. Okay, that was intense. Let's talk to Duncan. I know we talked about the food, but let's talk to Duncan now. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Yeah. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask. Why did you send Garrett yeah. away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. 
by sending him away myself. I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage. I understand. And you're forgiven. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my he lord. He is smart. We need to be smart, but we need to not show any weakness. Why can't they combine? God! They are so hard sometimes! Whew. Okay. I think I know I, which Lord, one I suppose. Are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, I am. Yes, Maester. Yeah. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council Good. at once. Always the small council, never the large council. Nuh uh. There they sit. Yeah, they sat or sit. I don't know. What? Let's see. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Good. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan. Royland. This house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my yeah. decision. Duncan. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This... this is reckless! What? Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay yep. Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal yep. with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. No, what? That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Stop Eastman this. deserves to hear oh. from all of us. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Yeah. <clears throat> Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a yeah. sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Oh, this is so intense and so hard! Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Yeah. We might Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! What will we use? What will we use? <sighs> Use diplomacy. My new sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable yeah. agreement. You must. If you aren't ready for a fight, 
You're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his yeah. decision. So Ronan is unpredictable. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Yeah. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. Nah, we'll meet can't him be. at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Invite him to the Great Hall. We must show that we are lord to lord to speak to. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Yeah. He must remember. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great yes. Hall. And we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. <sighs> then perhaps My hands we are adjourn. sweaty. We oh, it's so intense! Oh! You, I'm so afraid to make the wrong decision! Oh, I'm so afraid! My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. Of course not. It sounds like he will betray us. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Yeah. Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Good. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength yeah. too. <sighs> Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? Yeah. I wanted <sighs> to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Ouch. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but... You do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. Yeah. <sighs> I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. You send them. We can always need Fine. More. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. <laughs> he looks so... <sighs> we should trample. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Yeah. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Us yet. Oh, she... <laughs> oh, it's lagging there. I'm so afraid. So afraid. Stop beating, it's just a goddamn game! Oh! Keep Lion's Land. Strange King. 
examine it. Examine. Tyrell's. What is it again? Tyrell's family's seal. Uh huh. Pick up strange key. What is this? Yeah, I don't need it. I know it's strange key, but uh, we don't need it. What's this then? This family seal. Return is here. We are not thieves here. We are servants here. Loyal servants. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. <sighs> Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's yeah. Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... Oh, this doesn't look good. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Are you alright, my lady? No, she's not. I can see it in her eyes. She's not alright. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. Fuck. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me. <sighs> so intense. I'm sorry I say so much, but... This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. What the... <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now... Now... What the hell? Look at conscious. her arm. On the right side. A raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Milady. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know. I, I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Ooh. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I hope so. If I am trusting you, you must be. I, I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Well, we have an option at least. Well, we better be going then. To send the raven, I suppose. Nothing is easy in Game of Thrones, my friends. Nothing is. Where's Sir Roiland? Oh no. He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength yeah. of our own. 
Your men stand ready to act if needed. I hope so. You made the right decision, my lord. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? Not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton? Son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the Thank you, Lord no, I hate him. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. Aren't you the little lord? Lord Whitehall told me you were young, but this... Look at you. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <laughs> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many. <laughs> but not this, <laughs> apparently. Tough enough, tough enough, tough enough. <laughs> Look at that. More Forester. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. We really must focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. Yes. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the staff for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. Uh, I expect uh, you to do the same for us. <coughs> My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust her, Forrester. They murdered our men. It was a Forrester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. Then you welcomed me into your hall like a proper lord, hoping I wouldn't linger outside long enough to notice your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not... What the f <coughs> So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. Oh, really? What's that? The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? Yes. We are talking about trees. You grow them. Yeah, we are true craftsmen. Now, we have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Exactly. Do you want ironwood for the next five years or the next 50 generations? The little lord does have a point. Have a point, yep. Yeah. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better 
than the nothing you had before. Yeah. That's true. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. What the hell? You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her yeah. brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. We have more to discuss, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. What? Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty. Grab Tanya. Your sister. That is enough! Yeah. I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! What have you done? Oh my god! What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, Ramsey, you fucking little piece of shit! No! Even though. No, 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 no! I think we've come to an understanding. I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. What the? I'll take the boy of your ward. No! Kill him. If they give him any trouble. Brian! Uh, Look! Little piece of fucking. Oh! 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 What the fuck is around it? Do you read? Oh my god, is it really gonna end this like this? Is this really gonna end like this? Apparently, the story has begun. Next time on Game of Thrones. <laughs> Fucking hate this. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. Yeah. He'll be remembered as Ethan Good. the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. Yeah. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop yeah. them. We do not stand Already. alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forester above all other loyalties. Yeah. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is Asher home must again, that be. our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, I know. baby. Are you prepared for what might happen? <sighs> okay. You and 55% stay with Bowen. You and 31.2 uh, swore loyalty to Marjorie. Well, she, we are her and Mandy, not Joffrey. And uh, when it comes to stay with Bowen, we are the knight. We're supposed to protect everyone, not everyone. Not just one person. 
everyone. Doesn't mean it's high or low. Everyone. Okay. You sent Eric to the wall. Well, because that was the most simple reason, actually. And, uh, yeah. You and 63.4 pick Duncan as a sentinel. <sighs> yeah, we need to be smart on this one. We can't fumble around like Sir Roland. We never know how unpredictable he really was. He was really unpredictable. We couldn't show him. <sighs> That's why. That's why, my friends. You and 59% met Ramsey in the Great Hall. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. No. Fuck. No. Oh. And uh, that's it. Good episode. Real good. I really liked it. Much intrigues. Many intrigues. <laughs> well, we need to end it here. And, uh, well. Leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, write in the comments what kind of game you want me to play, and I will try to play it. At least find it, most of the part. And, um... Uh... <coughs> <coughs> oh, that really hurt. And uh, I will see you, everyone in the next episode. Bye-bye!